All right, guys, I want to take a quick break from our unboxings of the six pairs of vintage original Air Jordan 1 highs that I have currently listed on eBay. And I want to do an unboxing with all of this stuff that arrived at my house while my family was away in North Carolina for the NBA All-Star Game. I bought all of this stuff on eBay. So let's get into it. I am very loyal to eBay. Whenever I'm shopping for anything, it's the first place that I go. And this is not a paid advertisement or anything like that. I've been buying and selling on eBay for 20 years. And it's my go-to place to buy really anything that I'm looking for. Here you can see I got Michael Jackson Bad and Michael Jackson Thriller on cassette. I recently picked up a 1981 DeLorean. It's all original, including the original cassette player. I went to a few different used music stores in town, and I'm sure you wouldn't be surprised to find out that their selection of cassettes was just terrible. So I turned to eBay to find what I was looking for, and I've got these two Michael Jackson tapes. I'll be listening to them as soon as I get in the car and head home from work. And then over here, let's get into this and see what we've got. Since the DeLorean is from the 80s, I thought it would be fun to have a bunch of music from that era. So, got my Michael Jackson tapes, and I got a few more tapes right here. Let me get into them. These were some of my favorites growing up. I'm still actually waiting for one more tape to arrive, which is the Back to the Future soundtrack. Gotta have the Huey Lewis in the news. Let's get in here. The Michael Jackson tapes, incidentally, were 10 bucks, and this lot of tapes that I'm unwrapping here was 15 bucks and I would have had a real hard time finding these cassettes in a music store. But here's the Guns N' Roses lot that I picked up. Appetite for Destruction, their first album, and then Use Your Illusion 1 and 2, which actually came out in the early 90s. But still, I think it'll be fun to listen to these tapes in the DeLorean. So from the tapes, let's work our way to this package. Let's see what we got. It's always fun getting the mail and opening up all of these gems from eBay. Oh, this is actually a gift that was given to me from somebody that I follow on Instagram and that follows me on Instagram. And it's a sneaker book for kids. I'm gonna love going through this with my daughter. Thank you so much, Clintorius, who is a huge collector of Nike SBs. He posted pictures of this book. His wife and him are expecting their first baby, and I wrote a comment saying that it was so adorable, and he asked for my address and then sent it over here. So thank you very much. I can't wait to share this book with my daughter. And let's keep working our way through these packages. So this package came from overseas, and I was really excited when I stumbled upon the auction. It had a quantity of 13, and I bought every single one, and I'll keep a few and then resell the rest. But let's get into here, it's wrapped very well. I appreciate that very much. Thank you for bearing with me while I break through all of this bubble wrap right here. Wow, these are wrapped excellently. Let's get the bubbles out of the way and see what we have here. 13 editions, or 13 copies rather, of the Oregon Runner magazine. Now this is a retro magazine that came out in 2007 and 8 when Nike was relaunching a lot of their vintage shoes that as you can see here are 30 years old and 
Right here are some of the old Nike ads that have been remade. Very, very cool. I'm super into collecting vintage Nikes. And so to get a hold of a bunch of copies of this magazine, even though they are retros, I still think that that was super cool. So be on the lookout. I'll probably be selling some of these copies on Instagram. Where else are you going to find 13 copies of a 12-year-old magazine that was never even sold to the public, but on eBay? So, got my tapes, my magazines, my gifted book. I'll just leave this here while we keep up our unboxing. This one I know is going to take a second to get into. I've bought from this seller many times before out of Eugene, Tracktown, USA. Remember, Nike was founded at the University of Oregon, which is located in Eugene, about two hours south of Beaverton, where Nike World Headquarters is currently located. And originally, Nike was founded on the track as Blue Ribbon Sports by Bill Bowerman and Phil Knight. Bill Bowerman was the coach at the University of Oregon and Knight was one of his runners. And right here, very nicely wrapped as usual. Thank you very much, Gary. This is probably the 10th item I've bought from this nice man named Gary that I met. Thanks again, Jordy. Feedback left for you, best Gary. And in here is another item that you really could never find anywhere but on eBay. So this is actually something that a competitor was issued to participate in the 1964 NCAA track championships where the University of Oregon won the championship. And so this is just an original competitor's hang tag right there. I bought this, of course, on eBay. I mean, this thing's 55 years old. Where else would you ever find something like that but on eBay? And then the last package over here that I got while I was on my trip, not surprisingly, is a pair of shoes. What is surprising is how big the box is. Definitely didn't need this big of a box, but that's cool. As long as they're wrapped with care, I'm fine with it. Got lots of bubbles and packing materials in here. And let's check out this pair of shoes. Wow, a very interesting shoe box. So this is called a Nike Maverick. Look what it says on the tongue right there rocket hero and on the back is stitched buzz aldrin's signature so these shoes are called maverick 6.0s 6.0 is no longer a category at nike but at one point it represented action sports like surfing and snowboarding skateboarding, even though there was a separate SB category, but also BMX biking was one of them. But this was a shoe that was made to commemorate Buzz and Neil Armstrong's mission to the moon. I'm very much obsessed with the moon. I own the first pair of Nike moon shoes to cross a finish line in the 1972 Olympic trials. And I've since collected lots and lots of different Nike themed shoes that have to do with the moon. Something really neat about this pair of shoes is that the images on the uppers are actually photographs that Buzz Aldrin took when he was the second man to walk on the moon. So these were my recent eBay pickups. Honestly, every single one of these items you would have a hard time finding all in one place, uh, except for eBay. So I just wanted to show you what I picked up, and I'm going to keep shopping on eBay and keep selling on there too. Anyway, have a great day. See you guys next time.